Hi everyone, Mary Mead and welcome back to my channel. So in this month's Country Witches Cottage Box, we got these things to make a cleansing spray. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. Now this little bottle here has a little squirty thing in, as you can see. I'll show you what I mean, squirty thing doesn't make sense. Okay, so it's got this here. I'm not going to make the spray with all the herbs in this because I don't want it getting stuck. So what I'm going to do, I've got this little jar here and I'm going to make the tincture to go in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray the bottle and the top with some um, alcohol spray just to cleanse it, make sure there's no germs in there because these have been sitting around for a while. And the alcohol will dissipate so there's no issues with that. Now you can make a tincture with water, distilled water. However, your herbs may go soggy and mouldy if it's in water. So I'm going to use vodka. Vodka is a really good thing to have for making things like tinctures and um, all sorts of things rather than just drinking it because it's a good base for things. Now what you need is herbs for cleansing and blessings which these are the ones that came in the pack but you can use whatever ones you want. Um, your bottle which is this one I'd also say a bottle to make it in and your liquid base which I'm using here is some vodka and some liquid safe crystals now these came with these quartz crystals so I'm going to use these but you don't add this these until your mixture has infused Okay, so what you do, um, and obviously, um, if you, sorry about all the ums, obviously if you're using alcohol, the spray is going to last longer. And you can use whatever you want. So that's some lavender flower. And I don't think I've got my little thing in here or else I'd read what it is and I must take it out. So I've got lavender flower, some lemongrass, like that, some eucalyptus. Oh, that smells divine. Oh, I hope this is all going to fit in here. I guess I could have used half of these, but then it's a bit late now, isn't it? And this is some hyssop. So it's all in there like that. That obviously was not going to fit in there, was it? Silly me should have used half half of each of those in there rather than a full lot much too late now I can always transfer it later and what you do is you add the vodka until it's a little bit above there like that I'm just going to put a lid on I might transfer that to a bigger jar but you get the idea so it all goes in here and the vodka goes in there now that needs to sit for about a month six weeks 
so that all that the essence of all those herbs goes into the mixture because then what you're going to do is put the mixture in your bottle and add your crystals to um, increase the vibrations and then you can use your spray on yourself or over your sacred space and it's a better idea for people who can't use spray um, you know smudge sticks can't have something burning and if you make your own you know what's in it so if you've got any allergies you can make sure that what you put in yours doesn't make you um, you know doesn't give you an allergic reaction so I'm gonna let that sit for a month I'm so what I'm going to do is I've got some of this two-sided tape that I use for my painting and I'm going to put the date on and stick it on top so I know when a month is up and then I'll make it up. So I will be back to show you in a month or so. So today is about the 8th of September. So I'm going to stick that on there. Put the 8th of September on it. And I will be back in a month to show you how to finish it off. I will see you then. It'll be a month for me, but only a few seconds for you guys. Bye for now. Hey all, welcome back. I bottled this on the 8th of September in that little tiny jar so I put it into a bigger one and added some more vodka today is September the 20th so it's been in here for about two weeks not doing too badly got some of those I'm gonna leave it for another two weeks I might keep just adding some more vodka, so if my vodka's running out, so I might have to go to the shop and get some more. But it does smell really good. And there you go. So I shall be back in a couple of weeks to show you what I do with it once it's steeped in here. Hi everyone and welcome back. So this has been sitting, can you see, since the 8th of September it's looking nice and um, brewed so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to put it into the bottle so the first thing I'm going to do is put some of these crystals in not all of them just a few to give it a bit of extra oomph like that back into there I'm going to put that in there and this is my strainer I'm going to see if I can this is some water I'm gonna just do that for a minute I just need to get the lid off this Oh my goodness, it smells divine. All right, so I'm going to pour this in here. To about that much. I'm just going to put the lid on. Show you so it's like this now. All ready to be used. If it's too strong, you can add some distilled water. What I'm going to do with this that's left is I'm going to add some more vodka in there and have another batch brewing I'll just put that in there like that for a minute over there so yeah that's it that's my home spray
So you can use this now like you would um, any burner. Um, like sage or anything, you can use this instead if you have a place where you can't burn stuff. Like in my place, I have fire alarms, so if I want to smudge, I have to cover the fire alarms. Otherwise, I can use something like this. So thank you for watching, guys. And until next time, many blessings and merry part.